two. Steve, we on the air? Yeah, Dave. Um, almost live is running a little late. Can you fill a little bit more, please? Uh, Phil, yeah. Well, uh, somebody actually left an Almost Live script here. Let me give you a preview of what's coming up on Almost Live. This is going to be a funny show. Uh, some pretty funny bits, actually. Uh, not that. That's, that's, no, that probably won't be too funny. But, uh, they are promising that it will. Uh, there they go. See you guys. Uh, Almost Live is next. <laughs> Okay, kids, who wants to stay up late? We do! Who wants to watch TV? We do! Who wants to watch some funny stuff? We do! Who wants to watch Almost Live? <laughs> kids, who wants to watch Almost Live? How about if we paid you? We do! That's more like it. <laughs> Just ask this guy for the money. John Keister! Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. There was a great article in the PI the other day. Did you see this? You see this? This was on Wednesday. Fun to be king in the dome. You know, see, this is all about the new Mariners, not the old Seattle Mariners. The new owners want to start fresh. They say they want to entertain the fans at all levels, and they've asked the fans for suggestions, a new slogan, a new mascot, new ways to make the games more fun. And we at Almost Live, we wanted to do our part. So we put our heads together and we came up with these suggestions. First, some possible Mariner slogans for 1990. Mariner baseball, oops, I thought you had it. <laughs> How about this, Mariner baseball, not as boring as golf. <laughs> Mariner baseball, we'd kick butt in triple A. <laughs> Mariner baseball, at least we didn't sign the boss. <laughs> yeah. That's a winner, that's a winner. And one more, we had another idea. Mariner baseball. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Okay. All right. They asked, we delivered. You know, but we also had some new ideas on how to draw more fans to Mariner games. For example, have the seventh inning stretch with Laser Van Halen. Okay. Provide free post game counseling for depressed fans. The relief pitchers will be driven in from the bullpen by Dale Ellis. Write that down, Shmulian, write that down. Okay, uh, show Porky's on the big screen. That would be good. Have an all-you-can-drink night. Oh, yeah, well, they already have that, I believe, yeah. I think that's every game, I forgot, that's right. Uh, okay, here's another idea. Install a you-pick strawberry farm on the 300 level. That's a good one. And handgun night. Handgun night, yeah. That's a good idea, and the players have been told that on handgun night, we expect to see a little hustle out there. Yeah. Yeah. So those are good. Just trying to do our part here, you know. And the Mariners have announced that a search is on for a new team mascot, and there is a contest. It's open to kids under 14 in Washington State. They have to submit a sketch of what they think the mascot should look like. And, well, we've obtained a few entries, and, you know, they look great. Here's, let's see, here's Pete the Panhandler. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's perfect because the Mariner's home is in the historic, aggressive panhandling district of Seattle, and that's by Jason from Bellevue. Thank you, Jason. And here's Mr. Gigantic Tobacco Wad <laughs> by Heather from Federal Way. Yeah, those are all... Those are all great ideas, and you know, we here at the new Almost Live wish the new Mariners the best of luck. And of, of course, we're happy to promote healthy athletic co competition because we love sports and sporting goods, especially shoes. And you know, athletic shoes have made great strides in recent years with all these new high-tech designs. Now there's, there's one with a little pump built in. 
you, know, you need an instruction manual just to get into the shoes. But I think that the newest sponsor of Almost Live has made an even greater improvement in athletic shoes. Just take a look. First there was the Converse All-Star, then the Nike Air, now the Nike Ribadita with its own wireless remote control. Just press play. <laughs> The Nike Ripadita is controlled by a powerful 64-bit computer. Oh. Nike Ripadita's make defensive play no sweat. And they make offensive play simply awesome. With its handy built-in plug, the Nike Ripadita is easily rechargeable. And its patented anti-lock braking system helps you stop quick. Nike Ribadidas, they do it. Okay, Nike Ribadidas, get some now. Stay with us, we've got a great show and we'll be right back. And now, chewing tobacco, or thing you do with your nose. Snort. Snuff. Sniff. Snooze. Yes, we're back. We are back. You know, I've got something to say right off the top. Uh, if you were watching last week, you heard me say that we were going to have Andy Kaufman and his gigantic frogs, the big three-foot frogs, on the show this week. The big three. I know I said that, okay? He was, he was scheduled. He was scheduled. He was going to be here. But unfortunately, Andy and his frogs have been in demand all over the world. Michael Jackson called him up. He's going to buy a few. True story. Going to buy a few. Uh, right now, uh, this week, they had to fly to New York. And this week, they're chatting with Peter Jennings and with Phil Donahue. Donahue's going to have frogs on the show. I wonder what Oprah's going to have, right? But anyway, he's penciled us in for the next week. And I swear, we'll, oh, no, we're going to have him sometime. We'll have him. The frogs are going to be here. I know, I know. So, you know, perhaps the best thing, just adopt a wait and see attitude. But since we don't have a bunch of huge, wet, slimy amphibians to offer you. We have the next best thing. Please welcome Bill Nye the Science Guy. Nice to see you, Bill. Nice to see you, John. We're pleased to have you here tonight, Bill. Yeah, since you couldn't have the frogs. <laughs> yeah, you know. Always good to have you instead of a frog, Bill. I'm glad we have you. The people wanted frogs, though, didn't they? The people, apparently, they want frogs all over the world. Well, so. let me tell you, John. People say to me, you're the science guy. Mm -hmm. I want to see chemicals. That's what they say. I want to see chemicals. They say, knock off with this fancy apparatus Physics, that drop in yeah. things. Chemicals is what that's the people it, that's right. want. And if the people want them? You give them to them. You say, right. if the people want chemicals, give chemicals to the people. Is that's that the right. science guy <laughs> message? That's, that's what I thought. Okay. So it looks like you've got some really cool chemicals I, here. I have the very thing, John. Now, of course, uh, before we begin a Science Guy uh, thing, yeah. I insist. Please. All right, of course. Always. The glasses, right. Okay. Now, they have stylish I feel great ones. now, yeah. <laughs> but this I, of course, great. for some reason, don't choose the stylish ones. Now, uh, okay. John, start off with one of my faves. Uh, uh -huh. This is a, a powder. Uh, I, uh, sodium acetate, I think. This is sodium got. acetate. Oh, yeah. Boy, I took a lot of that in college. I remember that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that stuff was great. Yeah. Well, John, Just I'm, I'm skeptical. Joke. You're yeah. skeptical. I thought you would be. And I'll show Just you why. Ad -lib there. I don't think you. Uh, Bill has poured a, a small amount of what is it? Sodium acetate. Sodium acetate into this into this cup here. And what, oh, he's adding normal water. Okay. Regular old tap water. Regular old tap water. To the water. sodium acetate. Okay. Give what it just happened? that moment. <gasps> oh. Well, Bill, I'm impressed. So what is it? Let me see this. Let me see this. Oh, it's a. Uh, Oh, it's very gooey, very gooey, not unlike uh, a gel it's very gelatinous. So I gu I'm guessing this would be good to, say, dump in a toilet or a public fountain or something. This is Wacky. Yeah. Just a little bit like that 
It just goos up all the uh, water. It's hydroscopic. Now, John, you've gotten some on your finger. I know you're yeah. having a party. but it's like I something think, that the Joker I, would uh, have or something. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really intend for you to oh, okay. like, wipe it all over your hands, yeah, but that's okay. That's, it's, not gonna, it's not bad for me. No, no, okay, and you might, right. maybe in a few minutes we'll get you a little soap. Well, what... Uh, what are the uh, the uses for something like for for this stuff? What? Oh, there, I think there's uh, some polymers that are made, uh, plastics that are made using uh -huh. stuff like that. You know, every time you got acetate, John, you got to be thinking shirts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's now, very impressive. Chemical. It is cool. Uh, to me, that is very cool. Now, uh, very cool. John, you got your some stuff on your fingers. We may want to use some soap, and I, I have some soap solution here. Oh boy, here. that's an exciting chemical soap. All soap. Right, well, it is kind of exciting, John, because uh, what you can do if you have a uh, a gun like this, yeah, you know, handguns kind of a theme in our town these days. You can uh -huh. make. Uh, ah, very impressive. Yeah. Huh? Okay, you're making that. Not a lot of stopping power to that. Not a real deterrent there, but that's those are nice bubbles. Okay, You've, you're making soap bubbles. Okay, I'm sorry, John. What? Yeah. Okay. You're. Okay, we've succeeded in soap bubbles. Bill. All right, those are ordinary soap bubbles okay. filled with air from okay. around here. Now, John, you say chemicals, you say excitement. I want to see soap bubbles, and I want to see them burn. You know what I'm saying? I want to okay. see, I want to see explosions. That's what I'm That's talking. That's what I want to see. Sure. Yeah, Any yeah. Science guy, and yeah. we've got them. We've got them. What we're gonna do? We're gonna make soap bubbles not filled with ordinary air, but filled with hydrogen. <laughs> now, uh, what I've got here is a soap bubble maker. Okay. I'm going to issue you some matches, it, which matches will cause awesome. hydrogen to oxidize very rapidly, what we call burning. Okay. And what I'm going to do then is put a little water into the chemical, which we get at our good friends, uh, ECCI Scientific. And uh, okay. here we go, John. I hope you're standing by. All right. Let's see. Okay. Into the stuff. Oh, sure enough. Okay. No problem. Now, you know, hydrogen okay. uh, floats in air, John. Okay. Wow. Oh. Get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Light another one. Oh, yeah. Woo so that's the Hindenburg we oh, yeah, got going we got here. Sort of, yeah. Okay. They, uh, that's why they abandoned hydrogen, John, and went with helium. Not really feasible, huh? It's well vented huh. to the atmosphere, as you can see. Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> okay. Sure, well, no problem. Well, you guys, as we blow the be studio careful up. with inflammable hey, substances. Hey, look out for this, Bill. It's, it's okay. like shooting gas. It's All okay. right. Well, as the studio careful, explodes I've, uh, with hydrogen. I've, I got wrapped up in I the I think we better go I, to a commercial now, I Bill. Close so the can... water off. It's okay. okay thank no, you very much, me. Bill. Thank uh, you, John. Oh, it was nice to have you. And now, French wine or hockey player. Lemieux, Bordeaux, Robitaille, Merlot. Well, we're not just a show that gives you, tries to tempt you with these sort of contests and frivolous things like that. No, we're also committed to serious issues, and as such, we'd like to present a new show that we've gone just specifically for Almost Live that deals with the hard, serious issues of our day. Good evening and welcome to Really Hard Copy, the show that's got what it takes to get the news. All right, enough of this BS. Let's get to the news. Well, the Presidential Commission on the Economy has released its new fiscal year plan Really hard copy asks the man on the street, what do you think? Uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't follow politics at all. What are you, stupid? You stupid, <laughs> wasting my time? You stupid, come on, what do, you, what do you mean you don't qualify? Wait. More on that later. But first, a really hard copy exclusive. Special correspondent Snake Jackson files this report from the Justice Department. I'm here in front of the Justice Building where ongoing controversy surrounds the appointment of the new Crimes Commissioner. Really Hard Copy decided to take action on this issue. Please don't ask me again. I'm going to give you the same answer every time we haven't named a new Commissioner. I didn't want to do this, Mr. Briggs. Do you love your kids? <laughs> Why do you laugh? The three-year-old Tara, the four-year-old Becca. I happen to have a picture of them right here. You'll see that in front of them is this morning's newspaper headline. What have you done with my kids? Who's the new commissioner, Mr. Briggs? What have you done with my kids? Tell us the name of the new commissioner and they'll be fine. 
His name's Arnie Swanigan. He's 36 years old. He's kind of a blonde-haired guy. <laughs> Way to go, Jackson. Okay, Bob, let those kids go. All right, back to our really hard copy man on the street interviews. Oh, what's your opinion? I don't know. Oh, come on, you gotta have an opinion. Okay, no. All right, the public says no. Wuss. <laughs> really hard copy is following the unfolding cab scam scandal, and we caught up with indicted taxi mogul Alan Carver. We're outside of the building now, waiting for a reaction from Mr. Carver about the allegations against Mr. Carver. Mr. I got Carver, nothing to say. we demand I got to nothing the allegations to say. against you. Get out of here. All right, Mr. Carver, you asked for it. Hey, you shot out my tire. You're right, I did. Now, what about those allegations? All right, well, all right, I, I made a little mistake, okay? I did it. It was just a little mistake. I don't know what the hell. There you have it, another really hard copy, exclusive confession. Back to you. Could you give me a lift? Mm. Well, now it's time for our really hard copy weather report. Bill? Our forecast for tomorrow is for very cold temperatures. It looks like we're finally going to get that snow. Yeah, well, that's what you said yesterday, pal. Well, weather forecasting is not an exact science. Yeah. Well, why don't you come back when it is? That's all we have time for tonight on Really Hard Copy. We'd like to thank all of our Nielsen families for watching. Don't forget, we know where you live. <laughs> okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. And now, biblical figure or county in Utah, Joab, Haggai, Uinta, Og. Last time on Refrigerator Magnet Theater. I'm doomed! Ah! I'm really scared, man. I'm scared. Don't panic, Daisy. We're gonna use our heads. We're gonna figure a way out of this thing. Okay, man. Okay, but I gotta tell you, I'm really scared. Hey, what's that? What is that? Oh, oh it's a vacuum cleaner! Oh, I'm doomed! Oh. I've got to save him. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Geronimo! On, Daisy, everything's gonna be fine. You'll see. It'll. <laughs> to think, Rainbow Man gave his life to save me, Daisy Head. I'll be a proud refrigerator magnet forever, and I will never forget him. Okay, that's all we have time for this week. Bye-bye, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.